Firmware 2.0 is now available for the 500 series of field monitors, and that includes the SideFinder. This new set of firmware unlocks some pretty cool features. It allows you to cross-convert between HDMI and SDI and vice versa. It allows you to apply looks via 3D lookup table files and send those actually downstream to monitors and record devices and that kind of thing. And separately, you can view other looks on the monitor from the ones you're sending downstream. Um, and finally, you can save and load profiles on your monitor, which saves all the settings, including the pages that you have set up. So you can transport those between different monitors. Firmware 2.0 really provides more flexibility and efficiency on the set. It also um, helps you communicate your creative vision through the sharing of, of the looks um, to other displays on set and can really help you impress a client. And that all starts with cross-conversion. If we go into our menu, we have our input menu, which I can go ahead and select SDI to get a signal on screen. And then we have our output page, where by default, both signals are selected. So I can actually output uh, HDMI, which is a cross-converted signal, and still output SDI, so there's dual output capability here. This feature provides a lot of flexibility because you can have a whole series of gear, maybe it's all SDI based gear, and if your client wants you to use a specific camera that's HDMI based, you can still use all your SDI gear downstream. The other advantage is, especially with using SDI, you can run much longer uh, cable links to video villages and things like that than you would comfortably want to run an HDMI signal, um, so the ability to cross convert is, is really handy there. The other piece that the uh, 500 series adds um, is this output preview page. I've got this page is different than all the rest of my pages in the fact that um, it's only showing what's being outputted. So we can apply a look here, and um, which I can do real quick. And when we when we apply a look here, it doesn't it won't affect our other pages. So we can actually add tools and other looks to our other pages without affecting what's going downstream. And that's really handy um, from a, a client perspective because you can have the raw picture here while you're sending the client a really attractive um, picture and they're getting an idea of what the finished product will look like while you're checking waveform and uh, your zebras and your focus assist and your pixel zoom and all that sort of stuff without them um, seeing that type of technical stuff happening and, and becoming concerned. So it's really advantageous. So we've done both of those things now, and I guess the next piece of the puzzle here is the ability to do um, what we call uh, saving and loading of profiles uh, for the entire monitor. And let me show you how that works. So profiles basically are all of the settings of your, your different pages and things that are set up in your settings menu. And you can see I've only got two pages here. One is the output preview, one is just uh, page with no no features whatsoever, um, and then we have our settings menu that you know has your backlight out uh, output and your um, your headphone volume, all these kinds of different things. So a profile can save all this information and also load it. Um, so you can do that for multiple monitors on set at once, or you can share them with people. Um, that you know that have, have 500 series monitors. So um, I've already created a profile and saved it to the SD card. It's the same SD card as, as the LUT pack that we have on here, and I would recommend you doing the same thing. Um, and I'm gonna load that, and um, it will populate my pages slightly differently now. So I can back out and look here. So here's my output preview. I have it set up the same way as the last page, but now I've got all these new pages. Uh, some with uh, zebra effects and waveforms. This is a particularly cool page. Um, we actually have scaled the video image into the corner, um, loaded the RGB waveform here, and then have the histogram populated um, off to the side. So um, this gives you a pretty good idea of the flexibility of pages. And we'll have this, um, this profile available for download as well. Um, so check that out, try it out, and it gives you an idea maybe how to creatively set up pages for yourself, and you can share your pro profiles um, with people as well. Um, so this is kind of a nice, a nice way to, to, to operate because it's very quick setup. Um, and again, we have this output preview page that we can send downstream to our client. They're happy with what they're seeing because we're giving them a really pretty image uh, while we are over here 
checking our focus and our exposure, um, zooming and, and checking our, our focus with pixel zoom and viewing waveform and those kinds of things. And um, they aren't having to see that uh, downstream, which is, which is again, really nice. Um, so this whole set of features in 2.0 is really convenient. Again, lots of flexibility, lots of efficiency. And again, you're gonna um, make your clients really happy with the visuals you can provide in real time on set. We really hope you enjoy it.